is PHP dead? Is PHP irrelevant? I have heard this question asked so many times. And frankly, I don't get it. I don't get why we're even asking this question. To give you an idea, PHP makes up or helps to make up or create 80% of websites, just under 80%, it's between 79 and 80% of websites on the world wide web, on the entirety of the internet, are made using PHP. Is PHP dead? Is 80% of the internet dead? You guys, this question, it, it blows my mind that it is so commonly asked. You know, I, I, I'm on a few forums and on a few threads, Reddit, Facebook, Slack channels, all that stuff about PHP. And, and some of the threads where there's more beginner PHP developers, this question is always, always asked. Is PHP dead? Is PHP irrelevant? Absolutely not. If anything, if anything, PHP is becoming more popular. It's becoming bigger. It's, it's the law of attraction, right? When something brings in attention, then that attention brings in more attention. It grows exponentially. And the fact of the matter is the PHP community is already so big that new developers, new engineers, and the engineering community is consistently and constantly growing. It is just, it radiates or is, it gravitates. PHP is a gravitating language. It brings new people in from everywhere. And very uniquely, it brings in engineers at every single level of experience, you know. If you're more of a, uh, an inexperienced or new or beginner uh, developer, you know, you might be working with WordPress or Drupal, having a user interface with the capability of hooking into PHP, of adding on to the PHP, of extending the PHP. If you're more, you know, intermediate level, like you want to move past the WordPress, move past the Drupal, and you might make custom plugins or custom themes for Drupal or WordPress, or maybe you'll even move to a framework like Laravel, which can be used from, you know, intermediate PHP developers to highly, highly, highly skilled, extremely experienced PHP developers. If you're, you know, higher level and above, maybe you're setting up Symphony, working with PSR7, PSR13, and you're building upon the PHP best practices. You're looking into, okay, what can I add to the PHP language itself? You know, uh, maybe you're one of those developers that wants to help progress PHP as a whole, making it faster, making it more flexible, making it an overall improved language. In comparison to something like Android or uh, iOS, I think, it, I could be wrong about this, I've never actually worked on iOS, but does iOS use C++? Whatever it is, compared to something like, like Java or C++ or just about any compiled language, PHP offers so much more opportunity for beginners to come in, but also provides, especially after PHP 7.4, the ability to expand out your applications similarly to how, how Java or C++ use types and force uh, implementations of strong behavioral subtyping, like the Liskov substitution principle. It can be used both procedurally and even functionally, especially after PHP 7.4. Uh, it can be used, obviously, in an object-oriented context. Like PHP has so much flexibility and is so open to newcomers and experienced developers and engineers 
Guys, PHP is not going anywhere. It is used by 79 to 80% of all websites across the entirety of the internet. The entirety of the internet. Facebook uses PHP. Facebook gets like 1.38 billion users a day. So just from Facebook, that's 1.38 billion people depending on PHP. You know, if you count all of the WordPress sites, if you count all the Drupal sites, all of the Laravel sites, all of the Zen framework sites, the Kate PHP framework sites, the Code Igniter sites, like the Slim framework sites, the Symphony sites, you know, Drupal, uh, whatever else you want to throw in there, guys, PHP is everywhere. It is more relevant than it has ever been. And the only language that I'm aware of that is easier or more worked on in the open source community is Java. And I think uh, PHP is actually number four, so there might be one more in there. And I think it's probably like Node.js, JavaScript, maybe Python. I could be wrong about that. The PHP, or maybe it's Node.js, JavaScript, PHP, and then Python. And I'm pretty sure JavaScript's first. But as far as like open source code, like what people are working on in their spare time and what people are giving, devoting to build the community, guys, PHP is number three or four. And so even from an open source standpoint, it's, it's just so ubiquitous. So guys, sorry to rant a little bit there, but that question just, it blows my mind that we're asking the question is PHP dead? The answer is absolutely not. If you get into PHP, if you're a new beginner and you're looking into get to getting into a software language, PHP is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal choice. It's it's huge. Now I will say one of the things that does happen a lot with PHP in comparison to a language like Java, but even with Java you need to understand some other languages. But in PHP, you should probably learn JavaScript too. Uh, you'll need to know CSS, you'll need to know HTML. Um, but CSS and HTML are very, very, you know, pretty, pretty simple. And PHP and JavaScript work hand in hand in a lot of cases, especially for web, web applications. So guys, if you thought PHP was dead, in 2020, if you thought PHP is a dying language, uh, it's not. It's not dying. It's not dead. PHP is more relevant than ever in continually, continually building upon itself, getting better, getting faster, getting more valuable for all walks of life, for all types of developers and even non-developers, designers, website builders, like PHP guys is oh my god it's everywhere so that's that's my take on it. is PHP dead <laughs> no 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 PHP is not dead if anybody ever tells you that just just look at them with pity because they have a very humongous gap in what they understand about the current software environment and the current environment as an engineer and a developer because PHP is far from dead it's a completely different argument than saying you like PHP or you don't like PHP. You know, all software is bias. All choices about which software is better is bias. Sure, you can make a better choice based on personal knowledge of the team and the goal of the team and the experience of the team. But at the end of the day, no language is really better than another language. You can always argue that Java is better than PHP because, you know, it's purely object-oriented, or PHP is better than Java because it's, you know, quicker to write, or whatever. At the end of the day, guys, that's all. It, it's, it doesn't matter. What you decide to use, what solves your problem in the most efficient, most robust way, that's the best technology to use. PHP just happens to be a very, very ubiquitous, commonly sought after technology to understand by both companies 
and engineers and entrepreneurs and anybody else who is trying to solve a problem. And in 2020, I personally vouch that PHP is not a dying language. It is more relevant than ever. So that's all I got for today, guys. This is Zachary Warren with Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life. Uh, if this was useful, insightful, you know, like and subscribe. All the support makes this stuff worthwhile. And I, I hope you guys are just learning along with me and I'm able to help you guys out and provide some valuable information. So clean code, clean life, simplify.